It was accident upon injury that took down Phoebe Ohl's knee. Following four surgeries, she lost faith in its stability. Because it would freeze up on me or else it would buckle on me, and I was always afraid of uh, falling. An engineer by training, the prospect of a custom knee helped her decide to get a joint replacement. Especially since I'm kind of small, I didn't want to have something that was just plucked off the shelf, like small, medium, and large. And I liked the whole concept that it was designed around my own body. Hey, I'm doing great. Good to see you. And thank you. Dr. George Markovich is Phoebe's surgeon. This is the only knee that's actually customized to that patient's anatomy. It's truly individually matched. Off-the-shelf joints aren't always the best match. Molded using anatomical information from mostly men, they are limited in sizes. So choosing the right implant involves making compromises. It's especially true for the female knee. Some of the sizes were very, you know, clunky and, you know, large in certain diameters. Didn't really match women as well as men and women make up about 65% of the knee replacements done. Now artificial knees are going high-tech using digital imaging and 3D models to create a perfectly matched joint. And the way it does that is it gets CT data and very accurately uh, manufactures an implant with a 3D printer to match that particular patient's anatomy. And also getting CT data of the joint above and below the hip and the ankle to get all the alignment um, as perfect as can be before we even enter the operating room. Surgery is quicker and spares more of the patient's bone. Instead of manipulating bone to accept the implant, the implant is designed to fit the bone. There's less bleeding, there's less surgical time, um, there's an advantages that you see right off the bat. Less than three months post-surgery, Phoebe is already feeling the advantages. I'm not having any freezing up or anything. She expects her custom knee to carry her far into the future. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.